What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoors with Creed. This is another gun talk. Uh, real quick, thank you to everybody that subscribed. Thank you to everybody that's liking my videos and sharing my videos. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I am currently up to 92 subscribers. Uh, I will find the video, but if some of y'all remember, sometime last year I said I was going to do a real giveaway if I make it to 100 subscribers. It's going to be a six gill fishing cyclone reel. So I'm almost there. So I will let you guys know when I hit that mark, tell you what to do. That way you can get your name entered and hopefully get you a brand new fishing reel in your hand. Uh, six gill is also doing a thing where they're making rods and reels for the different branches of the military. So I might look into that and see about getting uh Probably do another giveaway. Maybe uh, let's shoot for 200. How's that? 200 subscribers. And whoever the winner is, when I contact you to let you know that you've won, let me know what branch you want. We have every branch of the military. We have the Army. We have the Navy. We have the Marines. We have the Air Force. We have the Coast Guard. Uh... And the Air Force. I almost forgot them. I'm sorry, Air Force. I'm sorry. Much love to you. We got every branch. So when we get the 200 subscribers, if Six Gill still has those rod and reels, I will try to get those. Whoever the winner is, let me know what branch you want to represent, and I'll try to get that out to the winner. Uh, also, if you guys are looking for some great apparel to show your support for law enforcement, I am a new ambassador for 1350 Apparel. They sell t-shirts and other, they, well, they just, they sell shirts, hats, uh, custom-made patches, anything for your local law enforcement, your state troopers, uh, federal agents, first responders, fire department, EMS, all of that stuff, as well as we have some civilian shirts for those who just love to support uh, the first responders. I'll leave that link down below, as well as I'll leave all the other links for anything else that I do down below, like always. But without further ado, y'all, let's get into this gun talk. Uh, my friend showed me a video earlier today. Um, I guess a guy was getting ready to uh, to, to clean his gun. Uh, he failed to properly clear his firearm. So when he went to pull the trigger, and in the video it looked like it was a Glock. So in the video, uh, you have to, on a Glock to take the slide off, you have to pull the trigger to disengage it. Well, since he didn't properly clear that gun, he ended up shooting a hole into his table. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to properly clear a gun when you're getting ready to do your gun maintenance. Let's jump into this. Okay, guys. So, here we go. Got my table. Okay. Got my workspace. Here is my Glock 22 uh, pistol. This is the pistol I carry on duty. In fact, I am just now getting off work. So as of right now, this gun is still hot. It is still loaded. I am getting ready to put my gun away since I'm off duty. But first, I like to clear my gun. Um, mainly just because I know that I've done it. That way, every day when I go on shift, I get in the habit of making sure my gun is loaded. That way, I don't go on duty not knowing if my gun is loaded or not. So, first thing you want to do is drop that magazine out, okay? Set it to the side. Now, me, I like to put my hand over the top and run the slide back. I don't know if you saw that, but I pushed the slide lock up. I caught the bullet in my hand. Now, the manual, your, your manual will tell you don't do that, okay? Here, watch this. Round is back in there. The manual will tell you to rack that slide and just let that round fall wherever. You can do that. If that's what your manual says and you're that person, you follow the manual, do that. Round is back in the chamber. Me, again, I like to cup it, rack the slide back, and lock it to the rear. I visually inspect that the round is in my hand. I put it to the side. Now, normally, out to right now during this video, I'm out here in my shop. Normally, when I do this inside my house in a closet where my safe is at, before I put the gun in the safe, I will release the slide. 
but I like to rack it a few times. In the video, the gentleman, he racked it, but I don't think he pulled it back enough to eject that round. And again, okay, do the three-point check system, okay? Lock your slide to the rear. Flip your gun upside down. Visually inspect. No magazine in there. I can see clearly through that to the bottom of my mat here. No magazine. Roll it back over. Again, no magazine. Turn it. Here is your barrel. Or that's your chamber. Okay, right here where my pinky is at. Visually look and see that there is no round there. Take that pinky. Stick it in there. Make sure there's no round that got pushed all the way in there. You check that thing to visually make sure there's no round in there. Once you are satisfied that you have properly cleared your weapon, again, I like to release the slide and put it back into my gun safe. And that's where it stays until I need it again. Now, once you do that, if you are getting ready to clean your gun, you visually check, gun is clear and safe, release your slide and go ahead and take it down. At that point, you have nothing to worry about as far as firing off around into your table. But again, people, I mean, I, I can't say this enough. If you have not, here, I will do this for you guys. Okay. So, uh, we just saw my procedures for how I like to take my gun apart. Um, so, uh, we just saw my procedures for how I like to take my gun apart. Um, if you're new to guns, read your manual, uh, whichever store you go to, if it is a good store. And when I say a good store, I'm talking about a Bass Pro Shops, a Cabela's, a uh, Academy Sports. Uh, for law enforcement guys, you know, any store that sells to law enforcement uh, specifically, but any store that sells firearms, if they are good firearm people, if this is your first time to buy a gun, don't be afraid to tell those people, hey, this is my first time buying a gun. They will go over these things with you to make sure that you safely know how to load, unload, and take your gun apart to clean it. So that way you don't have any uh, misfires or accidental discharges or anything like that. Uh, thankfully, in the video that I saw, uh, the guy did point his gun down at the table. But, I mean, you still can have ricochets. That bullet can still travel through that table, depending on what kind of material it's made out of. You, you can still have a lot of uh, accidents that can occur from mishandling a weapon. So, if you don't know what you're doing, please, please, please ask somebody. My video is not the only one that's going to be out here on YouTube on how to take guns apart. People have done videos on every make and model of guns. Research that stuff. Make sure you learn how to properly disassemble and assemble your weapon before you even take that thing on the range to shoot it. Because if you don't do the little things in a safe environment when you get out on the range, bad things can happen. So my friend showed me that video and I told him, said, hey man, I got to come home and make a video on this. Um, I got to get my part out there to let people know how to safely take down a gun. That way you don't have any problems. So thanks guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, be looking out for more videos coming down. I might have another one uh, posting on this same day. But until then, guys, that's all I got. Be safe out there on the range. Be safe in the outdoors. And see you guys on the next one.